everybody, I'd like to take time to show you the uh, new bench belt sander, belt grinder that I made. Um, I didn't get a chance to make the um, the video of me actually making it, but uh, here it is complete. Alright, here's, uh, here's my, my contact wheel. This is a plastic golf bag wheel. Here's the other one off the other side. You can see it's over two inches wide. So I had to um, had to cut that down with my I dismounted it. See I had to sand down these these grooves they went down, I had to sand all that off so that I could um so that I could fit that onto the arbor there, but this is what it's made out of. This is an old uh Arbor style bench grinder. It was my grandpa's. Um, it was mounted on this on this workbench. He had uh, this old motor right here. It's a Dayton one third horsepower motor, and it just wouldn't didn't have enough power. So I went in search of a new motor. I found this um, this old air tank. It's a Walmart air tank, but it has a four horsepower motor. Um, so you can see the compressor head is still on there, and uh, I got this pulley right here from uh, Granger. You can see I just welded the crap out of it. That's because uh, the shaft on that motor was 43 64 and they don't make a pulley that size. So I had to go the next size up and then just stick it on there and dab the metal. Um, all this stuff is made from junkyard parts and whatnot. These are gate hinges. Um, got two gate hinges here with the this is a piece of um, uh, leaf spring. I just bent it up and I put a hole in it on this side. Stuck a bolt through there. Uh, these are roller skate wheels right here for idlers. I just welded that bolt in there, put a little spacer inside there, um, stuck the roller skate wheels on there and super glued them together and put the nut on. And uh, this is what gives me my tension on the belt. I got two bungee cords here that uh, pull down on that. And uh, this is my top, top thing, my top idler. Same deal there. Another piece of leaf spring. I welded some additional support on there and bolted it to the table. Yeah, I just used my torch and then bent those bends in it and drilled a hole, welded a bolt in there. Um, I welded this piece of steel on here so that it's a handle to release the tension. So you just pull up on that. See if you can see that better from out here. You can remove the belt just like that. Um, got a bunch of belts here. I ordered these off Pops Knife Supplies on the internet. 2x72 belts. Um, this is a feature you won't see on, well, any grinder but mine. Um, see, the belt naturally wants to check track this way off to the left so I put this little um, it's actually an old uh, used to be an old square but it got rusty so I donated it to this project I just bent it down and it's a little fine tuned adjustment you can bend it up a little bit or bend it down depending on which way the belt's tracking and it keeps that belt going that way um, see that's this pulley right here is where the belt used to go with that little motor but I tried hooking it up to the to the motor here and just span spun scary fast. I mean it it ran me out of the garage. I didn't like it very much. So I got this bigger pulley to slow it down a little bit. This was the most expensive part on this whole thing. It cost me fifty bucks 
It's the only thing I couldn't find just laying around. Had to go out and buy it. Um, actually, it was about 60 bucks. I got it from Granger, and I had to get this, uh, I, don't, I don't know what you call it, insert so it would fit. Um, and then I had this switch laying around. That's the switch I'm using for it. Uh, I think that's about it. But yeah, for anyone who's been uh, looking for a, a good quality belt grinder, you know, one not from Harbor Freight, you can make your own. I did it. And uh, I think it's just as good as the others. It cost me, I'd say, a total of $100 for all the parts. It's a heck of a deal. Whenever you figure they cost about $2,500 when you buy them new. Yeah, but it just works great. Got a flat flatten on the other side. the belt out just like that put the new belt on there Well, I like it. I think I'll keep it around. Hope you enjoyed the video.